Hey class, good to see you again. This is American English File, 2nd edition, Book 3, Workbook, Part 2A, Spend or Save, Part 1, Vocabulary, Money. Everyone, complete the sentences with the correct verb in parentheses. For example, number 1, my sister wastes a lot of money on clothes she never wears. Okay, you know the drill. I need you to stop the video, take your time, and do it yourself, as always. Very good. Now, check your answers with your friends. Okay, now it's my turn. Number two, I can't afford to buy a house of my own. Number three, you'll have to save a lot of money if you want to travel around the world next year. Number four, Kevin earns about 2500 a month at his new job number five that painting is worth a lot of money number six my uncle is doing a bike ride to raise money for charity you raise money number seven we still owe the bank a lot of money number eight mary inherited $5,000 from her grandfather when he died. Number nine, the plumber charged me $250 to fix my shower. Number 10, can you lend me $200 until I get paid? And part B, everyone, you have to complete the sentences with the correct preposition. For example, number one, I'll pay for the movie tickets if you get the snacks. Let's do this one together, me and you. They charge us $5 for a bottle of water, okay? Number three, they got into debt when they bought their new house. Number four, we borrowed some money from my parents. Number five, my grandparents always pay in cash or pay with cash or pay by cash. You can use all three. Number six, I don't mind lending money to family. Number seven, they spent a lot of money on their son's education. Number eight, can I pay by credit card? Number nine, Phil invested all his money in his own company. Well done. You did great. A very good start. Great. Now, everyone, part C, complete the advertisement with the words in the box. For example, ATM, bank account, bills, coin, loan, mortgage, salary, taxes. As always, stop the video, take your time and do it yourself. No help from your partner or friends. Okay? Now, check your answers with your friends. And as always, let's do it together. Very good. Our account services open a bank account with us and will give you a free gift. You'll get a tablet computer if you earn over $3,000 a month. Consult our online service 24 7, 24 hours, 7 days a week, and use your card in the ATM of any bank to take out as much or as little money as you want. Do you want to have a lot of change? Use our free coin counter and deposit the total directly into your savings account. Does your company pay your salary directly into the bank? Then we won't charge you anything for your card. We'll even pay all your bills for you free of charge. Our financing services you need to borrow money for a car, a vacation, or a new laptop, we'll give you a loan of up to $10,000 for whatever you want to buy. And how about a new house? We can give you a mortgage at one of the lowest interest rates on the market. Our extra services. How much do you pay in taxes? Talk to our specialists to make sure you're paying the right amount. They can help you pay less. Come to Cash Internet for the best accounts, the best services, and the best savings.
Well done, everybody. You are doing great. Believe in yourself. Part two, pronunciation. The letter O. Everyone, circle the word with a different sound. For example, look, money, nothing, one, sold, right? Do it. Now I need you to listen and check. File 2A, pronunciation, B, one. Up, money, nothing, sold, one, two, clock, honest, shopping, dollar, clothes, three, phone, done, O, go, loan, four, horse, afford, worse, store, mortgage, five, bird, work, world, short, worth. Okay, you did great. And it's time for the grammar exercises. Present perfect and simple past. Everyone, I need you to circle the correct answer. For example, number one, I have never owed any money to the bank in my life. Yeah? As always, stop the video, relax, take your time and do it. Very good. Now check your answers with your friends. Great. Now it's my turn. Number two, they charged us too much for our meals last night. Number three, I know some great cheap places to stay in Seoul. I've been there a few times. Number four, Paul didn't inherit anything from his grandmother when she died. Number five, you've lent him money so many times, but he never pays you back. Number six, how much did your TV cost? Number seven, how many times have you wasted money on clothes you never wear? Number eight, I didn't have any coins, so I couldn't put any money in the parking meter. Number nine. Have you ever invested any money in a company? Number ten. My girlfriend has a high paying job. She earned $85,000 last year. All right, but we're not done. Follow me. Okay, grammar exercises part B. Complete the dialogues with the correct form of the verbs in parentheses. For example, when did your son buy his car? Okay, let's have fun. Let's do this one together, me and you. When he passed his driving test last month. Number two, how much money did you borrow from your sister yesterday? About $100, but I already have spent it all. Right. Number three, have you found a new house yet? Or did you find a new house yet? Yes, and the bank agreed to give me a mortgage. Number four, have you ever lent any money to a friend, only to my boyfriend when he needed a new phone? Number five, has your mother made an appointment with the doctor yet? Or did your mother make an appointment with the doctor yet? Yes, she called him yesterday and she's seeing him tomorrow. Great. Part four, reading. This is my favorite area. Everybody read the first chapter of a book about Daniel Suelo once. Where did he decide to live? Okay. The name of the book is The Man Who Quit Money. Okay. This is your gig. I'm gonna wait. A few moments later. All right, you're back. Let's read it together. The man who quit money. In the first year of the 21st century, 
A man standing by a busy road in the middle of the United States took his life savings out of his pocket. Thirty dollars. Laid it out inside a phone booth and walked away. He was 39 years old, came from a good family, and had been to college. He was not mentally ill, nor did he have any problems with drugs or alcohol. The decision was made by a man who knew exactly what he was doing. In the 12 years since then, as the stock market has risen and fallen, Daniel Suelo has not earned, received, or spent a single dollar. In an era when anyone who could sign his name could get a mortgage, Suelo did not apply for loans. As public debt rose to 8, 10, and finally 13 trillion dollars, he did not pay taxes or accept any type of help from the government. Instead, he went to live in a cave in Utah, where he picks fruits and wild onions, collects animals that have been killed on the road, takes old food that has gone past its sell-by date out of the trash cans, and is often fed by friends and strangers. My philosophy is to use only what is freely given or discarded. He writes, while the rest of us try to deal with taxes, mortgages, retirement plans, and bank accounts, Suelo no longer has an ID card. Identification. Daniel is not a typical tramp. He often works, but refuses to be paid. Although he lives in a cave, he is extremely social, remains close to friends and family, and has discussions with strangers on his website, which he checks at the local library. He has ridden his bike long distances, traveled on freight trains, hitchhiked through nearly every state in the United States, worked on a fishing boat, collected mussels from Pacific Oak beaches, caught salmon in streams in Alaska, and spent three months living in a tree after a storm. I know it's possible to live with zero money, Suelo declares, and he says you can live well. All right. So, where did he decide to live? Can you tell me? Was it with friends, with family, or in the country? Or in the city? Of course, in the country. Now, we're not done. I need you to read the chapter again and choose the correct answers. A, B, or C. For example, number one. What do we learn about the man in the first paragraph? He had thought about his actions carefully. B. Okay, again, it's your turn. A few minutes later. Okay, now I need you to check your answers with your friends. Very good. Number two, what has Daniel Suelo done since he changed his life? He hasn't used any money. Number three, how does he get enough to eat? He finds food. Number four, what's Daniel Suelo like? Well, he's outgoing. And the last one. How does he get from one place to another? He uses different methods of transportation. Great, but I need one more thing from you. Now that you have read this twice, I need you to complete the sentences with one of the highlighted words or phrases. And I'll help you as well. Number one, clean fresh water often comes from mountain streams. Number two, it's important to have a retirement plan for when you get old number three the giant fish sculptures in rio were made using discarded plastic bottles number four the early 19th century was an important era for opera number five he has shares in some companies so he's interested in what happens on the stock market and you might get sick if you eat food after it's sell by date yeah and that's all there is to it and this is the last set in the house you can see my headphones right it's time to listen everyone listen to four speakers talking about how they manage on their incomes the money that they receive the salary match the speakers with their situation for example speaker one d a young person who lives with his or her parents okay 
Let's listen and answer. File 2A. Listening. 1. Can I live on my salary? Well, I don't really have many problems because I'm still living with my mom and dad. Don't get me wrong, I give my mom some money for rent, but it's definitely much cheaper than living on your own. I actually have a pretty good salary. I'm a graphic designer. I don't really spend much. I buy some new clothes every now and then. And I have to put gas in my car, of course. But apart from that, it's really just going out on the weekends. Most of my money goes into a savings account so that I can buy my own house one day. 2. I find it really hard to live on my income because I only have a part-time job. Being on my own with my daughter means that my mom has to take care of her when I'm at work. At least I don't have to pay for child care. The house we live in is rented, so that's where most of the money goes. I don't think I'll ever be able to afford our own place because the bank won't give me a mortgage. Apart from the rent, my money goes to food and clothes for my daughter. Still, I shouldn't complain. I have an amazing daughter, and that's all that really matters. 3. I think I'm really lucky. I'm pretty healthy for my age. I have enough money to live on, and I have my children and grandchildren. When I say I have enough money, I don't go on any fancy vacations or anything like that, but I'm comfortable. I've paid the mortgage, so that's one less expense, and I don't have any loans to pay either. My one little luxury is going out for lunch a few times a week with some friends. I guess that's where most of my money goes, on food. 4. Can we live on our salaries? Well, I'm not so sure, actually. My husband is a teacher, so he doesn't earn that much. Definitely not enough to raise two children. That means I have to work, too. I have a full-time job at the local supermarket. And really, that's our biggest problem because we need someone to take care of the children. Our babysitter costs a fortune. We spend more on child care than we do on our mortgage. Then there's food and new clothes for the children, too. Honestly, it isn't cheap having kids these days. All right, very good. Check your answers with your friends. Very good. Okay, speaker two. A, a single parent. Speaker 3, C, a single retired person on a pension. And speaker 4, B, a family with children. Great. Now I need you to listen again and mark the sentences. True, if it's okay, and false. All right, let's do it and finish this. File 2A, listening. 1. Can I live on my salary? Well, I don't really have many problems because I'm still living with my mom and dad. Don't get me wrong, I give my mom some money for rent, but it's definitely much cheaper than living on your own. I actually have a pretty good salary. I'm a graphic designer. I don't really spend much. I buy some new clothes every now and then, and I have to put gas in my car, of course. But apart from that, it's really just going out on the weekends. Most of my money goes into a savings account so that I can buy my own house one day. 2. I find it really hard to live on my income because I only have a part-time job. Being on my own with my daughter means that my mom has to take care of her when I'm at work. At least I don't have to pay for child care. The house we live in is rented, so that's where most of the money goes. I don't think I'll ever be able to afford our own place because the bank won't give me a mortgage. Apart from the rent, my money goes to food and clothes for my daughter. Still, I shouldn't complain. I have an amazing daughter, and that's all that really matters. 3. I think I'm really lucky. I'm pretty healthy for my age. I have enough money to live on, and I have my children and grandchildren. 
When I say I have enough money, I don't go on any fancy vacations or anything like that, but I'm comfortable. I've paid the mortgage, so that's one less expense, and I don't have any loans to pay either. My one little luxury is going out for lunch a few times a week with some friends. I guess that's where most of my money goes, on food. Four. Can we live on our salaries? Well, I'm not so sure, actually. My husband is a teacher, so he doesn't earn that much. Definitely not enough to raise two children. That means I have to work, too. I have a full-time job at the local supermarket. And really, that's our biggest problem, because we need someone to take care of the children. Our babysitter costs a fortune. We spend more on child care than we do on our mortgage. Then there's food and new clothes for the children, too. Honestly, it isn't cheap having kids these days. Okay, very good. As always, check your answers with your friends and let's finish this, all right? So, speaker one, he doesn't earn much money, false. Number two, he saves most of his salary. It's true. Speaker two, she doesn't own the house where she lives. True. She thinks money is more important than family. False. Speaker three, he can't live on his income. False. Number six, he isn't in debt. True. Speaker four, she only works in a store on the weekends. False. She spends most of her money on her children. True. And these are some words for you. Backer, backer, billionaire, billionaire, brand, brand, customer, customer, entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial, low paying, low paying. Rejection, rejection, salesman, salesman, self-made, self-made, wealthy, wealthy. And that is the workbook practice for today. Everyone, thank you for watching. If you have a question, you can comment down below and I will get back to you. And make sure to like and subscribe. Until then, my friends, see ya.